So now I got some more misinformation. Number one, the door is locked. I couldn't get in, but I happened to see people traveling that way down in the basement. So the guy went around, he had somebody open the door for him, and they told me now it's down the street of St. Paul at 1.30. So they are continually to give me misinformation. Now, uh, they showed a sign down that says, as you can see, they tend to sign down that says, uh, refugees and immigrants welcome. So you can see part of the sign. I already had the video showing that it says, uh, refugees and immigrants welcome. So now they didn't throw that sign down. It seems like a lot of signs are disappearing that I already have video of. Okay. Now, uh, let me head on down to the other way, since they're telling me now it is at the other church. As I say, they'll continue, and why would the doors be locked on a Sunday? <sighs> really. But, uh, they'll continue to provide me with evidence. A door lock on a Sunday in this area. Really? We know the church is not, they're, they're not in the heart of the ghetto, and on Sundays, all the church's doors are open. So, let's see what I find this way, since they're sending me on another blind mission. And again, as I said, why would they keep taking these signs down? All right, I'm going to pause because I don't want my battery to run low until... I'll get somewhere where I can find out what this other church is and the time that changed again. Talk to you guys later.